Are you a nine wing one or a nine wing eight? Let's find out. Are you talking about me today? Yeah, nine wing eight, it's your time to shine. You go, girl. Oh. Sorry, am I interrupting something? Not at all. In fact, we're talking about you nine wing ones today. I'm just gonna go take a nap. Anyway, hello, if you don't know who I am, I'm Abby. This is my channel all about the Enneagram and personality types so that you can discover you. So subscribe if you haven't already, put out new videos every Thursday and sometimes Fridays if you know, just, uh, yeah, it, things happen. I bet you clicked on this video because you know your main type is an Enneagram 9, the peacemaker, but you're just not quite sure what your wing is. Don't worry, we're gonna figure it out together. Wings are the two numbers in the Enneagram that are by your side. So for nines, that's type eight and type one. It's really important to know that you actually use both of your wings every day. Everyone is a unique combination of their main type and sprinklings of their two neighbor types. Typically, you will find yourself using more of one of your neighbor types than the other. First, let's have a little chat with nine wing eight cause I'm pretty sure nine wing one is still napping. I'm an Enneagram nine wing eight, also known as the advisor or the comfort seeker. I just really like doing things that make me happy. Hanging out with people, having a nice glass of wine, taco Tuesdays. I love tacos. Tacos are amazing. And oh, reading a book by the pool is like one of my favorite things ever. Honestly, in my world, comfort is key. Oh, oh my God. Oh my toe. Oh, who left this counter here? Yeah, I have a temper. That's like the confusing thing about me that sometimes people tell me. Um, it's just that like I do want everything to be really peaceful and stable. Like that's the happiest place to be. But I also have this fiery, I don't know, thing inside me and sometimes it comes out, but only if I get upset. I mean like, generally I'm pretty chill. Nine wing eights have an interesting dichotomy going on. They have a type nine's main desire to have inner peace and stability, but they're also influenced by a type eight whose core desire is to protect themselves and the people that they love. If you lean more heavily on your eight wing, you're gonna have bits of this eight intensity in your everyday life. So you're gonna be triggered when you see others being mistreated or if you feel like you're being walked on. Nine wing eights tend to be more assertive and outgoing than nine wing ones. They like to be independent and pursue the comforts of life. That's why we call them the comfort seeker. They are calm, affable people with an undercurrent of intensity and passion. I don't know why I said undercurrent that weirdly, but there you go. Also, you know how type nines feel anger and then suppress it in order to keep the peace? Well, nine wing eights actually use their eight wing to access and express their anger. It helps them avoid passive aggressiveness and express their anger when they feel like there's been an injustice. But once they've communicated that anger, they're gonna long to go back to their peaceful comfort zone. Now let's check in with nine wing one. Maybe she woke up from her nap. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm an Enneagram nine wing one, also known as the dreamer or the negotiator. I really like when my days are peaceful and predictable. At work, I like when I have the time and space that I need to do a really good job. I like to just take naps. <laughs> and I love when me and my best friends cook dinner together and then we sit around the table and talk about big philosophical ideas. No one ever picks up after themselves anymore. It's always me doing the laundry, folding clothes, doing everything. Sometimes if I'm having a rough day, I can get a teeny, tiny bit critical of the other people in my life. It's just that I usually know the best way to do things. Nine wing ones tend to be quieter individuals who long for routine in order to contribute to the inner and outer peace of their world. Their one wing gives them a deeper desire to improve the lives of others through truth and objectivity. If you're a nine wing one, you may lean on order and optimism to make you feel like you have everything under control. And you probably struggle with feeling overly critical of yourself. So type ones have this fierce inner critic inside of them who's always telling them to be better, do better, just constantly criticizing them. So if you're a nine wing one, that critic of the type one probably seeps into your life as a nine. Nine wing ones are also fantastic mediators, which is why some call them the negotiator. They're able to see both sides of every story and look objectively at the moral implications. This type also tends to escape into their imagination and creativity more often than nine wing eights. I hope this gives you more insight into what your Enneagram wing is. If you have more questions, 
drop them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. You can also follow me on Instagram at Enneagram with Abby. I answer lots of questions there. I do lives at least once a week and there's lots more content going on there and it's a little bit more immediate. So if you have more questions, type nines, you know where to reach me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.